is a friend in need is a friend indeed. But did you know the difference between good friends and toxic friends? Well, we all have that one friend who's bad-tempered, a little jealous, and somewhat conceited. Do you think he or she is a true friend to you? Let's celebrate your success. They're really happy with your promotion at work, your new relationships, or even your new shiny car. They'll be the first who call you and say, hey, well done, congratulations, let's go out and celebrate. Cara Delevingne Are you even best friends if people don't occasionally think you're dating? That's what happened to Selena Gomez and her friend Cara Delevingne. When they were spotted hanging out, some fans assumed they were in a romantic relationship. Not only was Selena totally cool with this, but she loved the fact that people thought they were dating. She described her pal Cara as fun and extremely adventurous, and said the tabloids speculating that she was dating a gorgeous supermodel made her feel like she'd really made my fists are not up here because I'm milking a giant invisible cow. How could these two possibly not get along? With all the tweets that Will Wheaton sends out bragging about being next to Jim Parsons, and all the fun-looking pictures the two take on set together, it seems like a match made in heaven. Well, not so much for Sheldon Cooper and, well, Will Wheaton, it seems. Botash beer, did that guy just say revenge is a dish best served cold in Klingon? On The Big Bang Theory, Parsons' character and Wheaton's over-the-top portrayal of himself are constantly at odds, with Wheaton sometimes even getting the upper hand over the super smart Sheldon Cooper. Well, what else is there to say except... ...of your achievement. Even your smallest achievements enrage them. They cannot put up with the idea that someone's business is going well. They can like your photos on Instagram, but when you meet them in person, it's easy to notice. They're jealous of you. It's literally- Wilson loves Rachel Green from Friends. Most people have sympathized with Arrested Development's Michael Bluth. But did you know the actors who play these hilarious characters have been friends since they met at a party before their respective TV shows were created? It's true. And uh, uh, a couple other of our friends were there. Because yeah. Because we were all renting a house together. 25 years old. Yeah. Yeah, good wow. times. They went on to create several movies together, including The Switch, Horrible Bosses, and Office Christmas Party. Bateman has admitted many times that Aniston keeps him grounded, and Aniston never misses an opportunity to embarrass him with her love. But don't worry, Jimmy Kimmel, Aniston still has room in her heart for you, too. Pretty much everyone loves Adele, so it's not surprising that Jennifer Lawrence does, too. They met when she snuck backstage to see Adele perform Skyfall at the 2013 Oscars, and they've been friends ever since. Jennifer has called Adele an international treasure, in addition to being sweet, funny, intelligent, and beautiful. Seriously, find a bestie who lifts you up like Jennifer Lawrence does. These two love hanging out together, whether they're grabbing dinner or meeting up at a women's march. Jennifer and Adele are the female dream team we didn't know we needed until importance of your alone time. Sometimes we all can't stand the hustle and bustle of big cities, so we need our private time. We spend this time on meditating, thinking, reading good books, or walking. Our true friends understand this and never get offended, even if we cancel weekend plans with them. Toxic friends try to occupy all your time. They're like spiders. They literally need all your time and attention. They easily get offended when you want to spend some time alone and complain about you to others. You always feel guilty when you say no to them. Les Misérables They may have both grown up in Australia, but that isn't the only thing these two men have in common. Not only were they both up for the role of X-Men's Wolverine, but they are also both easy on the eyes and hugely successful. What you may not know, however, is that they love to sing together and pal around on and offset. It warns you a dangerous man, stole a loaf of bread. In 2012's Les Miserables, however, not so much. In fact, Crow was on Jackman's case quite frequently as the sinister inspector Javert, obsessed with finding notorious criminal and runaway Jean Valjean. While these two may have despised each other in the film, there's nothing miserable about this close friendship. ...are caring and empathetic. They say, wow, you look great, even if you have bed hair and are wearing a rumpled t-shirt. They never judge your appearance and they always know how to cheer you up. Toxic friends judge and criticize you. Oh, where'd you get that weird hat? You look terrible. They never miss an opportunity to point out your shortcomings, even the smallest ones. They hide behind the phrase, I just want to help you, but they don't help at all. They make you feel awkward and uncomfortable. 
Number Anderson. While everyone can't get enough of Jennifer's friendship with Bradley Cooper, who can forget the friendship that first proved just how silly Jennifer Lawrence can be? We're talking Joshifer, of course. The instant connection between these two was palpable, both on and off screen. In fact, in one interview at Comic-Con, Jennifer informed the audience that she and Josh were so connected at the hip during the taping of Catching Fire that they even peed in the ocean together. Now that is some true friendship right there. Do you believe in love after love? <laughs> Feel so bad inside me say, I really don't think you're strong enough, no! Well, of course, they won't believe you if you say you're moving to Mars next weekend, but they usually believe all your stories. When you tell them something interesting, for instance, from documentaries, they believe every word. Toxic friends doubt everything you say. They're like, hmm, are you sure? I think it's better to ask Google. No matter what you say, they always want to double check. Clooney These two megastars have a friendship that spans over 15 years, having started on the set of Ocean's Eleven. In the earlier years of their platonic relationship, it was all about the typical Clooney pranks and the general teasing from both of them that everyone knows and loves. That was the best picture you could find of me and George. There's only 10 million photographs of us together. However, when Julia Roberts was pregnant with her twins, Clooney was instantly there for her with just the right amount of seriousness. Since then, Julia has publicly given her approval of George's wife Amal, and George has expressed his genuine love of Julia in return. But of course, it's George Clooney. The teasing is always there. We've gotten married. We have, I mean, not to each other. That would be so weird. <laughs> Our lives have expanded, though.